All right, what's poppin', everybody? It's your boy Armani. We're back with another video. All right, get in here, get in here, everybody, get in here. So we got to get into some things. So Summer Walker dropped the song called um, X for a Reason featuring JT. All right, this is the lead single off of her next project, Still Over It. Okay, it is kind of like the follow up to her original project, her first album, Over It. Um, and a lot of the fans are not feeling this. Okay. A lot of fans feel like this record is trash. A lot of fans are saying that they want, um, London on the track back. Um, even Summer Walker herself is now saying that, she, you know, this wasn't the record that she wanted to actually release. She wanted to release a record called Toxic First. However, she had no control over the record. Um, it was all in the label's control. So, um, to me, Summer Walker, she's not really a fan of this record either. It's not her favorite record, um, and it wasn't the it wasn't the record that she actually wanted to lead with. However, the labels they made the decision. Now, what do I think about the record? I'm gonna be honest with you. I enjoyed the record when I first thought about it. I had to sit and I had to think about it because I'm like, okay, this is not what I was expecting, right? It was a little bit upbeat. I'm gonna be honest with you. I like a Summer Walker record where I'm, you know, it's slow. I don't really need a, a club, a radio pop, kind of whatever up-tempo record from Summer Walker. I'm not going to hold you. I want to cry, be sad, be in my feelings, be ready to leave that nigga, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the energy that I'm always ready to be on when it comes for her, um, to her. However, I've been sitting on the record for the last two days. I've been playing it nonstop, and I like it. I'm not even going to hold you. I like this record, and I think this record will grow on people. I think this record is maybe a grower, not a shower. It's not the typical Summer Walker way. It's not what we're used to. And as a follow-up from all those other records from her first album, this one is just not connecting with the audience as much, especially there was so much anticipation and build-up for it. Um, they wanted Summer Walker. They wanted another Girls Need Love. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this record wasn't that. However, Summer Walker did her thing on this record and JT did a great job on the record. And, and I think that Summer should actually be supporting the record, especially since she got a, you know, JT featuring on the record. Um, so I don't know. I enjoyed the record. I'm still streaming it. I stream it almost every two hours. I, I, I like it. Um, but I definitely don't need a lot of up-tempo records from Summer Walker on this next project. I definitely, this could, this needs to be the only up-tempo record. Everything else needs to give me slow vibes. F that nigga, shoot that nigga. You know what I mean? I don't even mind this one though, because you talking about you going to slap his ex. You know what I mean? You going to pop the ex. Tell that hoe to move around. We all got that story where the ex is still not over it. You need to move on. You're an ex for a reason. Stop calling my nigga. Stop texting my nigga. Stop trying to be in his face. We all have that person. So I don't know why it's not relating to y'all. But it's definitely resonated with me because I definitely dealt with uh, a person's ex emailing, texting, calling from block numbers, not getting like you like, yo, back up. It's over for you. My guy, it's done and you're still coming around. So I definitely can resonate with this because you get to a point where you like, listen, I'm ready to slap this hoe if this hoe don't get up out the way. You know what I'm saying? So that bitch your ex for a reason though, okay? Don't play. But listen, there's some bars in there. I like that, you know, because everybody's been, everybody has dealt with somebody that has the crazy ex. And you've been the crazy current. I've been on both sides of the fence, okay? You play with me and mine's I'm finna play with you. And if you and if you entertaining that hoe, me and you gonna have a problem too. So you better know what's what's gonna happen because I'm finna get down with everybody. Don't play you can play with a lot of things, but don't play with my money, my credit, or my heart. Period. <laughs> you feel me? Because then I'm a, then I'm a, I'm then I'm gonna I'm a tap out, I'm a spaz out, I'm a click clack out. <laughs> But yeah, I like the record. Um, it's a good record. I'm listening to it. Um, I'm ready for everything Summer Walker. I like everything Summer Walker. So I'm here for it, y'all. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you guys here for the Summer Walker record? Are you feeling the record? Or, or nah? All right, guys. On to Nick Cannon. Now, while I like Nick Cannon, 
I really like Nick. I think Nick is dope. I think Nick is attractive. I think that he's talented in certain areas, and I think that he's very charismatic. However, I do not feel like a daytime talk show is for Nick Cannon, and I've said this before. I do not feel like we're interested. We, the general public, we, the masses, are not interested in a Nick Cannon television show. Nick Cannon has way too many jobs, and he needs to open it up and give other people an opportunity. Everybody's hiring Nick, but it's not translating. So now um, the re the reviews and the ratings are in. Nick Cannon's show is failing. Okay, I'm debuting at less than a hundred, less than four hundred thousand views a day. Um, that is horrible. Um, in television land. Okay, so Nick Cannon is getting less than a half a million views per day on his daytime talk show, and he's getting. Horrible reviews. The article says debuting at less than half a million viewers and receiving devastating reviews. The perennial um, television personality's own syndicated program is not likely to take over the Wendy Williams time slot. Time slot. Desperate. I mean, despite what rumors previously suggested. Okay. Um, so Nick Cannon will not be taking over the Wendy Williams time slot because he cannot retain an audience long enough. He's not getting the views. He's not getting the audience and the reviews are not raving. Okay. And like I said before in a previous video, I don't know why people would even think that Nick Cannon would be the perfect replacement for Wendy Williams. I'm going to be honest with you. The only type of replacement that I could see for Wendy Williams, honestly, it's like somebody out of the box. If it's not going to be someone on social media and we're going to go with celebrity already, I would say an individual like Nicki Minaj. Honestly, because she's funny, she's messy, she's charismatic, and I think the people will be there to see what she says and how she responds. And she's just the right amount of messy, and she has the right amount of industry connects, and then the right, and then she has the right amount of industry enemies where she could read them, but then she could also have people that want to come on the couch and sit with her. You know what I'm saying? And then she's messy with everybody and she's entertaining. So if, if anybody were to get that Wendy Williams spot, I think that Nicki Minaj could be a great uh, person to actually fill that seat. And remember if that something like that happens, remember Armand Wiggins said that first, but back to Nick Cannon, um, Nick Cannon, while he's a great guy, he just does not have what it takes to, um, to really keep the audience entertained. Um, I'm hearing also Nick Cannon has been struggling to get celebrity guests on there. They've been reaching and pulling and stretching. Nobody wants to come on the show. Nobody is watching the show. We don't even know how long the Nick Cannon uh, show is going to last. So the Nick Cannon show uh, most likely will come and go. Um, and, and that's just that on that. Nick Cannon just does not have the draw to keep people on. And I knew the show would fail and flop because it's just not entertaining. Nick Cannon is not messy enough. He's not, and no one wants to see Nick Cannon be friends with a bunch of white people all day in, in shiny shoes. Like we want to see some sort of controversy, talk show, solve problems, get messy. Like they try to, they try to kind of clean up they tried to give nick cannon like this cleaned up version of the wendy williams show and that wasn't gonna work he needed a different type of format but they were trying to usher, usher him into that spot and that just wasn't that that was never gonna work so um i'm not surprised that the show flopped um i'm not surprised that the show is failing and i and i'm not surprised that deb my mercury is ready to kick the bucket on Nick Cannon and trying to figure out what they're going to do and how they're going to replace that Wendy Williams slot. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with that. Um, so, and we'll, we'll keep watching. All right. And our last topic of the day, one of our overall Queens of music, child, these lips is popping. <laughs> okay. Miss Adele. We already knew when Adele drops, it's like world stop. Do not play with it. Don't drop no music around Adele because she's going to take over. And this time is nothing different. Adele um, has broken Spotify's record for the most streamed song in one day. All right. I don't know how many songs, I mean, how many it is. They didn't specify it, but um, they just said that Adele, um, on Friday, October 15th, Adele's Easy On Me became Spotify's most streamed song in a single day. Um, I can imagine. Um, Adele is back. The song is beautiful. Her voice is amazing. And I was even most excited that, you know, she still sings like that Adele. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, when she's a little bit bigger, you know, it's like, it's the power in the big, big girl vibrato. And, you know, I was afraid that she was going to lose that after she had lost all the way. But baby, let me tell you, it's still there. All right. So this track easy on me, you know, it really puts you in your feelings because it makes you think about a relationship that you may have been in or that you're in. You know what I'm saying? Like when you have the, the, the turmoil, the drama, the issues, you know, you know, is it too late? Is it too, is it too much? Is everybody stuck in their ways? Should you just move on? And in so many words, that's what she was basically saying. Like, you know, I tried, I tried to fight. I loved us, you know, I loved us both. But at the end of the day, you know, we're too stuck in our ways. So we had to move on. I had to let this go. So it's a really, really deep record, um, but we didn't expect anything else from her. But that, you know, it's, it's a tear jerker. It's an emotional getter. Um, and it makes you think and it makes you feel. And I think that's what's so important about Adele and what's so great about her is that she really knows how to connect with her audience through her music and through the, and through her voice. You know, it's just so, it's, it's so beautiful, you know? And so, um, shout out to Adele. She's coming. This will be an amazing era for her, um, to be expected, um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking to, uh, forward to hearing more records from Adele. Let me know what you guys thought about today's topics. And until next time, I want you to keep the same energy, keep your lips glossy, and I'll see you soon. Peace out.